So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to use glow simulation animation with using Blender. So guys click on here and delete your all assets so now guys i'm going to take a plane this one and increase plane size guys plane size are like 50 all 50 yeah right and next one guys this time i create ghost effect so use uv sphere and guys i increase segments like 64 ring 32 and radius is good so right click and right click guys shade smoother yeah and guys select this spare and go to up guys select this spare and go to up like this yeah and next one guys press one yeah and guys next one i use cylinder and guys radius change i like 0.3 is good yeah and guys vertex this one i like increase 64 yeah and tap little bit increase like 2.5 yeah right and now guys select and apply bevel effect this one bevel yeah and guys amount 0.2 and segments guys i like 50 for more smoothness guys you can also increase amount full like 0.5 is good yeah and right click shade smoother yes see guys that's my shape and now guys that's my hand so guys rotate rotate like this yeah more and guys set your position guys little bit more rotate so select this rotation tool rotate yeah and little bit up yes see guys that's my simple hand and now guys duplicate press ctrl c and v so guys again rotate like this yeah and guys select your shape this one cylinder and position change like this see guys that's my simple hand effect right see okay so guys my shape is complete that's my simple shape and next one guys i create group effect so go to on empty and use arrow so guys i change shortcut start shortcut so like left yes and guys offset i like 100 100 yeah okay so guys select this that's my empty so guys create group so select shift key and drag and drop on empty yeah guys that's my cylinder press holding shift key drag and drop yeah simple guys see guys that's my group right see select this empty object that's my group okay so guys now i create animation so go to an empty and guys i create moving animation so moving animation i go to on 100 frames guys i increase frame like 600 is good and now go to 100 frames 100 and guys y axis check go to 350 frame 350 increase frame like 350 yeah and y position change i like minus guys take 25 is good minus 25 actually 30 i like 30 yeah and press this animation key and now guys go to on last like 600 and y is like zero yes 
right okay so next one guys see that's my simple that's my moving animation and next one guys i create rotation animation so go to on 100 frames guys rotation create rotation like this yeah go to zero frame actually 100 frame and press this animation key and go to on 350 guys z1 360 degree press animation key and last one 360 and zero press animation key yeah so guys go to back and play yeah guys after 100 frames create animation like this yeah good right see that's really simple right okay so guys now next one i create rotation animation okay so guys stop and go to on here by zero and press animation key yeah okay so guys go to again back and play yeah right okay so guys next one i create cloth simulation effect smooth cloth simulation so now guys yeah my animation is perfect so stop and guys go to on here add and press plane guys plane size this one increase like 12 12 and 12 and go to on up like this guys change 10 is good 10 or 10 yeah right see okay so guys now i apply actually increase subdivision surface on this one plane so go to on edit mode and right click subdivision and guys number of cut i like 10 and one more time right click subdivided but guys this time only cut 5 yeah guys next time i will apply subdivision surface move more smoothness okay so now guys i apply cloth effect that's my cloth select and apply cloth this one right and next one guys collision effect on this one spares and all objects so that's my collision like this select this one and collision check this one and lastly i select this plane and apply collision yeah okay so guys go to back and play see guys that's my beautiful effects right that's my simple simple collision and guys stop and right click on this cloth and smooth yes so go to back and play okay so guys my close simulation is really good now guys apply subdivision surface guys that's little bit heavy effect so guys use subdivision surface and render i like one and one more time yeah much better right see guys guys now i apply collision effect actually self collision on clothes so select guys go to on here and guys collision guys quality i like 5 and self collision check guys distance i like 0 0.01 0 0.01 meter enter yeah and again go to back and play yeah much better see guys that's my realistic cloth effect that's really smooth guys now i create more realistic effect so go to back and guys go to on here modifier guys see that's my subdivision surface so go to on up yes and this time guys select this cloth and apply this one solidifier guys for thickness yeah that's my thickness so guys go to back and again one more time play guys it take little bit time because my heavy cloth effects really smooth cloth effect so stop yeah see guys that's really smooth and now next one guys i apply one more time subdivision surface so 
गाइस गो टू ऑन एड मॉडिफायर सब डिविजन सरफेस या गाइस ब्रांडर आई लाइक थ्री एंड व्यू पॉट लेवल लाइक टू इज गुड यस सी गाइस दैट्स माय ब्यूटीफुल क्लोथ सिमुलेशन राइट सी दैट्स माय ब्यूटीफुल क्लोथ ओके सो नाउ गाइस आई अप्लाई दिस टाइम ब्यूटीफुल क्लोथ मेटीरियल सिल्क क्लोथ मेटीरियल गाइज आई ऑलरेडी क्रिएट मेटीरियल सो गाइज गो टू ऑन अ पैंड and guys i have file guys you can download file from my website that's my file so open yeah guys see that's my material so double click and guys marble pink apply so select go to our material and marble pink apply yes beautiful guys see that's my beautiful silk cloth material right Okay, so next one, guys. I create background. So select this plane and edit mode, and select this edge, and press E and G, and go to on up like this, guys. Select mid one and apply bevel, guys. Bevel I like zero point two and amount like fifty is good for more smoothness and object mode and right click shade smooth, yeah. Guys, I apply this time background color. So select and append. Guys, that's my background material. Yeah, go to the material property, background. Yes. See, guys, that's my beautiful composition and beautiful material, right? Okay, so guys, now I take camera, camera, and guys, camera go to back and up. Guys, select this and rotation ninety zero and minus ninety and press zero for camera in. Yeah, see guys, that's my beautiful composition. See, so go to back and play. Yes, right. Okay, so guys, my composition is really good. Next one, guys, I apply light. Yeah. See guys, that's my beautiful clothes simulation. Yeah, that's my beautiful clothes, right? Okay, so guys, go to back and now, guys, I apply light. So use light area light and guys, light go to on up. Guys, I have I take two light. So first one, that's my top light and size I like ten. Yes, and guys, power I like five hundred. And next one, guys, select this light. Press Control C and V, and that's my front light. And guys, rotate your light. This one. And guys, light rotation change like ninety. Yes, right. And press zero. Yeah. See, guys, that's my final effect. Right. And guys, go to on here, cloth, and go to on here. That's my physics property, guys. All setting is good. Yes, and guys, lastly, create break effect, break. And now, guys, go to render setting. Guys, I use cycle render, render engine, use cycle, and GPU device, guys. That's my GPU and max amp. I like one to eight. Yeah, that's it. And go to on here, color, and use environment texture. Guys, open and guys, I have HDR image. I like this one. So open image check. Okay, so guys, now I show you my simple render. So click on here. Yeah, see guys, that's my beautiful render, right? And stop. Go to on here, guys. I create renders. So frame rate thirty and frame all, guys. That's my end. I like six hundred. And guys, go to on cloth, and guys, click on here, guys, and frame this one six hundred. Use six hundred because my that's last frame. Yeah. Okay. So guys, that's it. That's my final effect. And go to on output, guys. Click on here, create new folder, new folder, and take render, and take any file name, like a, yeah. And guys, go to render and render animation. Check, 
guys after render import your all jpeg sequences and create mp4 video file so guys that's it my final effect is finished so if you like my video please share and please subscribe my channel thank you